is we're gonna be installing uh, a hood panel, okay, from Lens Sun Solar. They sent me this kit. So as you can see right here, this is the panel that's gonna be going on the hood. It's a 100 watt panel. They make it in different uh, powers, you know, for depends on the vehicle that you're gonna be applying it to. I mean, if you're on a Toyota or whatever you have, they pretty much have you covered. Jeeps, anything you might have, they have you covered. Now, this particular uh, panel, like I said, is going to be going on. And there he is. There's Joseph already doing the prep work. But this is going to be going on the hood right here. Okay. And uh, it's got an MP4 connector. And it's going to be going into this 10 gauge cable that I already ran to the back of the truck. So please, you know, be cool because this is still under construction. But you can see the cable right there. It's going to come back over here and it's going to uh, attach. It's going to be connected to uh, a con an MPPT uh, solar power charger controller that was also included by Lunsun. And from there, it's going to be charging my 100 amp hour Uniwix battery, okay? My LifePo battery in the back. And hopefully that's going to be powering my refrigerator all the time and that is pretty neat if you don't go the way i'm doing it with a custom hood wrap you can get this vinyl from uh, lens and solar so they'll send you this little box right here and then you have they send you the squeegee you know to go ahead and apply it and there's plenty plenty of space just made for the GX460 or for whatever car you're going to be uh, applying it to. But so just so you know, if you don't want to go the way I did it, you can always, you know, apply that vinyl that they send you. And it comes with, you know, some of the things that you're going to need to apply. However, it's not going to come with the 3M tape. You will need a double sided 3M tape. And I'll show you uh, a little bit more about that in a little while. Lens and Solar will provide you with the detailed instructions for your install. Prep work is essential, so make sure you clean the mounting surface before you install the vinyl. Heat will help make the panel more malleable, so we left it out in the sun for a while. Then, we clean the back of the panel with a lint-free cloth and alcohol to remove any impurities. Make sure you buy plenty of double-sided 3M mounting tape. I suggest you buy more than what you think you're going to need. I bought one roll of one inch and another of half inch tape and just barely had enough. Apply the tape around the edges, in the center, and especially in front of the panel where the wind might catch it. Once you finish, make sure you center the panel accurately and start removing the tape. Let it drop. Like that position or yeah sure okay guys so this is very important you know make sure that Especially the front. I mean, everything should be, you know, loaded down. But that front part, well, that's where the, the air can catch. And one thing that we have working for us here is plenty of heat. There's plenty of heat. And Joseph added so much tape. Now the drive home is gonna be uh, low speed. When I go back home, it'll be low speed, so I won't be traveling at any high. Yeah, just to let it fully set. Yeah. And then I'll probably put something heavy on top of it overnight. Yeah, ideally, once you want to put this on, I mean, if you're at home, just leave it there, park it out in the sun after it's already set, and then the sun will do its work. Well, I gotta say thank you so much, oh, Joseph. Yeah, exactly. You were great. From the very beginning all the way to the end, guys. Joseph with Velocity Wraps is a true pro. If you want to learn more about vinyl wraps on off-road vehicles, check out my video to learn more.
Now that Joseph has applied the wrap and installed the solar panel, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning off the edges from around the solar panel here because I want to leave a little bead of Sikaflex caulking right around here to try to prevent anything from going beneath the solar panel. It's not necessary, but it's an optional thing that Linsen Solar does suggest in their instructions. So I'm gonna give it a try, but first we need to do a little prep up and uh, mask, mask it around. I'll show you in a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply clean around the edges. I'm gonna clean the surface right here and the edge. That's really what I'm looking for. Right here, because it's gonna be right along this edge that I'm going to put that caulking. Now there's not really a lot of separation, but still, you know, this thing is really planted on the hood, but I still would feel better because that sand, man, sand can get in there, little details like that. So might as well, let's give it a try. I just want to create this little edge with this masking tape to protect the solar panel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this on the solar panel and then I'm going to put another little piece over here on the vinyl so I can just leave that little channel uh, where the bead is going to go. I, I don't want to get everything messy. I'm not a professional. This is the first time I ever do this so you know I just want to take some sort of precaution there. Okay friends and if you're wondering what I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this Sikaflex caulking right here okay that's what they recommend. I'm sure that there's other brands but uh, this is in black and I'm going to give it a try right here. I hope it comes out okay. It got awfully quiet, huh? Just trying to focus. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so far not so bad. call it great either okay I can live with that how it came out you can see it did do a good job sealing that gap between the hood and and the solar panel now this one's gonna be the most important one for obvious reasons, it's right here in the front. So I'm gonna to get to work on the rest of it. I'm finished with the bead around the solar panel. I will say this, I wanna share some things with you. Number one, make sure you wear gloves, okay? This thing, I don't know, I don't know, I always make a mess out of everything, but oh, have a have a wet rag with you, okay, when you're doing this. This thing is, uh, very messy okay or maybe I'm the messy one but anyway check it out it wasn't perfect but it was I think it's good enough man I think it's good enough you know check it out right there okay yeah there's a little but this is the front I try to get the edges the best I could I uh, still missed a little gap right there just a little bit but all in all not too bad not too bad I mean this is a lot better than just leaving it alone in my in my opinion this is what I've noticed the hood is much heavier now with that solar panel and the pistons will still 
will still work. I mean, they're still going to keep it up, but you can feel that resistance. I mean, you have it around here, it's just going to come and shut down on you. So I don't know if an upgrade is necessary uh, for these things. Solar panel on the hood is definitely going to make the hood heavier. And uh, so that's just one thing to know. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire, I'm going to uh, run this cable that comes from the solar panel and secure it in here and we're going to start working on the actual wiring part. Okay my friends, so now it's time to wire, wire the cable that comes down from the solar panel and uh, when I, had, I went ahead and did, just I just removed the engine cover off to the side so it can reveal you know the place where I'm going to uh, tie wrap down and kind of run it this way. Now uh, Lenson Solar does provide you with uh, some uh, sticky tabs here where you can zip ties so that's pretty neat that comes along with with the package and um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out a way to bring it here maybe attach it to this existing cable here and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna send it to the back you see that right on top that's a mag daddy magnet and uh, those are really neat. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. But uh, I just wanted to tighten it up. So I put that on top. It's magnetic. So I was able to put a zip tie there, bring it down, zip tie it, zip tie it. And then right over here, I have these MC4 connectors. Uh okay guys, so nothing can be easy. It never is. Let me tell you what I'm going through. So right now, I have the solar panel obviously connected right here to uh, this cable. It's a 10 gauge cable that is running to the back. I ran it through the firewall. Yeah, I did a bunch of work, you know, routing it, routing it through the through the through the edge right here through these panels. It was a pain to do all this. Uh, I brought it to the back and the whole purpose was to connect it to the MPPT and then from here, you know, to my um, uh, LifePo battery over here, all right? So let me tell you what's going on. For some reason, it's not charging, so it's not registering anything and when i mean not charging it's not like oh there's not enough sunlight out there what i'm saying is there is uh no charging this the 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 mppt is just not charging the battery and you can see it right here this is this is the app all right so obviously there's something wrong so what i already did i already did some troubleshooting and I tested the MPPT. I disconnected it from here. Okay. I took the battery and the MPPT over to the engine bay and I connected the MPPT directly to the solar panel. And it worked. It was charging the whole works. But as soon as I connected to the cable, uh, well, it, 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 it's not working. It's not charging anymore. Obviously, you would think, okay, if that's what's happening, then there there's, there's got to be something obviously wrong with the cable that is going to the back, right? The middleman cable is the one that's causing the issue. But I took my voltmeter and I checked the voltage. There were no issues. There was no break, no break right there in that cable. So that is fine. That is kind of strange to me. So I don't know if there's an issue with, you know, with using a, a, a cable to send it to the back. I don't know. I don't know um, if that were or, or, you know, why that's not working. I reached out to Lenson and they told me that maybe I should delete the app and uh, and reinstall the app because perhaps the the, the MPPT was not recognizing the battery as a lithium battery but that is not the case okay I did remove the the app and I brought it back and uh, I reinstalled it and uh, no 
no that's that's not the case it's still acting up it's still not charging but it's just weird that it does work um without the cable so it's that middle cable that for some reason it's causing an issue so i thought oh it's got to be because it's a 10 gauge cable and the cable appears to be a 14 gauge the one from the mppt i know that sounds stupid you know i'm like ah, why, why would that be the case but i did it anyway you know just just to experiment and no i mean i cut another cable uh wasted that cable and uh just to run it to the back and see if that would work no that was not the case so it appears that the solar panel only wants to uh work with the mppt when they're connected directly okay with each other if you add uh, an extension okay if you add a wire extension between the mppt and the solar panel then that's when it appears to have the issue okay so i don't know if that's making any sense but um I'm gonna have to think out of the box because I really want this setup to work. Uh, the whole purpose of doing this was to have it, to have the battery in the back charging, okay? Uh, I don't have a dual battery system, so that's not gonna work. Um, and I, I really didn't want to charge the starter battery. I wasn't looking to charge a starter battery of the vehicle. But all the videos that I've seen, all the reviews that I've seen involve people uh, just setting it up in the front with a starter battery. I haven't seen anyone trying to connect an extension cable in between the MPPT and the solar panel. So I don't know, uh, maybe it just wasn't meant to be that way. So I'm gonna try to figure out two other ways maybe i will keep the mppt i wanted the mppt close to the battery but maybe i will put the mppt in the maybe I'll, I'll leave it in the engine bay okay and then i'll run the other cables for the battery and uh the, for the load I'll, I'll i'll extend these instead to the back so i went ahead and just to show you what i'm talking about I brought the battery, same battery, I brought it to the front, connected the exact same way, and I have the MPPT just there, and connected directly to the solar panel coming from the hood. And uh, now you're going to see, if we check the app, you will see right here that even though it's only 9.2 watts that it's taken in, you know, if, uh, uh, with charge right now from the 100 watt solar panel, um, it is working, okay? So there's definitely something going on with that in-between cable, the cable that I sent to the back, that's where the problem is, that's where the issue is. And uh, I'm not surprised we're only getting 9.2 watts right now. Uh, it's in the morning and the sun is kind of being clouded up right there uh, it's not at the best angle also my house is casting a shadow over my truck I'm gonna see if I can leave the MPPT close here in the engine bay like I said and then run the cables back there let's see what happens then so I made that adjustment that I was talking about and it's working it seems to be working so once again, I uh, you know, connected the MPPT directly to the solar panel and instead of placing it in the back, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to leave the MPPT somewhere in the engine bay and then these are very crude obviously, I'm going to have to solder them because this was just a test, but I had to put a 14 gauge wire to the wire there I had to cut it and uh, this is what leads to the battery to charge the battery so boom send it through here what I'm really regretting is and dreading is that I'm gonna have to remove all of this 
stuff right here all of these panels once again and trust me it's a pain in the butt man this is terrible like having to remove all this i already did it once and i was hoping i would never do it again well that's not gonna happen i'm gonna have to do all that once again but anyway uh so as you can see there is a wire and it's uh hitting all the way to the back check it out connected to the battery of course it still has its fuse there all right um i'm thinking of maybe leaving it like that while i'm removing all of this other all these panels i'm going to leave it connected uh only because i want to make sure that there's not going to be any overheating or any issues like that that's what i'm scared of that this is going to be uh you know it's too far away from the mppt is it gonna is the performance gonna suffer you know is it still gonna charge the same i don't know right now the sun is starting to come out again so yeah you see you can see the the wattage is already climbing but uh i'm also gonna have to run check it out so i'm also gonna have to run another cable from here and I'm gonna have to create these Anderson uh, plugs an Anderson plug that can run from here to the back uh, to power this the the 12 volt cigarette lighter to power my refrigerator so that's gonna have to come from here and I'm gonna have to test that out so right now you can see the little green light blinking right here that means by now I've deducted that that means that uh that it's uh, the panel is uh charging okay that it's actually uh recognizing the panel and if it's blinking it means that it is uh providing a uh, charge uh to the battery okay the yellow is an indi indicative of the battery that it recognizes that there's a battery and the one the, the things that i have to say that I, I found out are pretty neat i really like this app the app is pretty cool uh might as well just talk about it since i already have it here but you can set your parameters uh for the device you have them right there for the battery uh what i noticed is that it automatically recognizes what type of battery you have now you do have um the ability to change uh change it manually you can change it to agm gel liquid whatever you want you can do that from here okay and uh there's no load right now but it can also it'll tell you you know like okay within the last 24 hours how has it been performing and uh so yeah let's uh let's keep looking at it let's keep working on this thing and and let's finish it up so many things have happened i had to shut down the camera and get to work because i just wasn't getting anywhere things got a little complicated but check it out so i really wanted to put that mppt in the back uh and i had ran the cable i ended up you know um running new cables with anderson connectors whoa oh my goodness did you see that gust of wind heavy heavy uh uh hood over here man i'm gonna need to get some sort of holder or something because that was that was a close one man that would have hurt anyway <laughs> let's ignore that because i think it's time to wrap it up for today uh but check it out okay so i went ahead and i drilled drilled some uh fasteners right here some d what is it d shackles i don't know what you call them a friend Gabriel was the one that suggested this and also got this uh, uh, extension cord protector for the refrigerator I have an old Bouge RV 53 quart here that I've been using been very faithful to me however there is an issue I just found out uh, with a connector it came loose so I had to open up that refrigerator and work on it and fix it from the from the inside but anyway this is all powered the mppt is powered to the 100 amp uh lithium battery right here the lifepo 
and uh, never mind all this crap right here all this mess I'm gonna get to uh, work on this and I'll clean it up uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that for right now because I'm gonna have to take everything down anyway because of a couple of mods that are pending um, however let me show you how this works at least at the very least I can use this I can go to the beach now and I can enjoy this um, set up at least for the meanwhile so check it out go ahead and bring it all the way out and uh, this is my refrigerator working here and uh, this is uh, how the cord is saved right there I still like I said I, I need to tie, tidy everything up and uh, I'll end up making some sort of little platform or something for the battery right there i still have power uh coming from uh from the starter battery up here if i wanted to i got that from the third row seats if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out but anyway now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to shut it down and i'm gonna use this for an entire week probably go to the beach and i'll tell you how it's been working out for me. So kind of give it at least a one week living for one week at least, you know, with a Lensun uh, solar panel uh, system. Let's see how it works out. Well, what can I say other than all that hard work and effort was worth it? My wife and I decided to put the Lens and Solar 100 hood panel kit to the test at South Padre Island. We went to the East Cut and enjoyed having that extra power from the sun. Our Uniwix lithium ion battery was topped off all day thanks to the 100 watt panel. This guaranteed we'd still have power until the sun went down. I highly recommend Lens and Solar. I will leave a link in the video description along with the discount code. Just type COASTAL for a discount. If the video was helpful, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. Get up, get out, do something.